constitutional amendments can sometimes be complicated to the voter. Well, now the question is, how many subjects should an amendment to South Dakota's Constitution have? Soon, voters will decide. Amendment Z will limit amendments to have a single subject and require proposed amendments to be presented and voted on separately. Kelly Land Sarah McDonald explains Amendment Z. Supporters say limiting amendments to one subject will make it easier for voters on election day. Sometimes people will bring a complicated amendment to the Constitution that may have eight or nine different ideas and one or two good ones. And so people are left with the choice of voting for a package of amendments, the two or one or two of which they like, the others which they don't like. Representative Mark Mickelson supports Amendment Z. It's just intended to really clarify what's in front of people when they're deciding on the issue. Rebecca Turk with Dakota Rural Action wants you to vote no on Z. She says putting an amendment on the ballot is a complicated and lengthy process. It involves setting up a ballot question committee. It involves raising hundreds of thousands of dollars. It, in, it, it involves um, gathering tens of thousands of petition signatures. Turk says having only one subject would waste time and money. Split it up and run, you know, have to run a separate campaign, you know, a separate process and gather tens of thousands of signatures for every little piece of, you know, what is clearly, I think, for most people, a single issue. The final say is up to voters on November 6th. For Kelloland News, I'm Sarah McDonald. Before you head to the polls, be sure to join us for Inside Kelloland Ballot Issues Explained. On Sunday, October 28th, we're going to be going through the ballot and look at both sides of every issue. It's going to start at 10.30 following the late local news.